Hey guys and welcome back to another new video. Today we will be redoing this tank that is right next to my bed. So let's go and get right into this. So right now we are draining this tank and it is almost drained fully. So I'm going to go and take all the plants out and keep them so I can use them for another time. And we are going to redo this tank. So if you guys don't know this tank used to be a better tank and I kept two better fish in here one on this side and one on this side but one of them sadly passed away and the other one I gave away in my local um, fish forum it was a better forum and I gave it away so now we're going to redesign this tank and try to make it look better I'm just gonna do a low tech easy planted tank maybe get the divider out keep one better fish in here with a spool of tetras or something like that look at this piece of driftwood with uh, Anubias Nana Petite pretty nice looking So as you can see we've taken out about 95% of the water and all the plants except for the remaining few uh, floating plants and the rocks, they're all in this bucket now. And the sponge filter, we won't be using these anymore, we'll be using a hang on back filter for this tank. So now I will be rescaping the tank. found some leftover acrylic from another project that I was doing and I decided to cut it up a little bit to make sort of a wall because I want to add sand into this tank and I don't want the sand to mix in with the soil so that's why I did this and hopefully it works I can um, separate the soil and the sand so you can sort of see how it's going to look like I've blocked off the soil so that it doesn't come towards the front and now before adding the sand in I'm just gonna give this front area a little cleaning so here we've got the sand in a little bucket I just washed it out so I've put the sand and the soil in the tank now we're just going to try to even it all out So I think that the tank looks pretty good right now. Now I'm just going to start to plant in the plants and then fill this tank up with water. Good morning guys, it's now the next day. I started this tank setup late last night, so that's why it's now the morning and I have completed. All I need now is a filter and maybe some floating plants. So let's take a look at what it looks like now. So this is it. I've spilled some soil in the front, so I'm gonna clean that up later, but it really doesn't look too bad. And I didn't add any tall plants in this tank because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see from both sides. I want to be able to see from here where I sleep as well as from when I get into my room. So let's go get the filter and some floating plants. So while I was looking for some plants at 181 Aquarium right here, the store owner came up to me and said that I could have one of these. And this is basically just expanding foam, this thing right here, 
that you use to make backgrounds. It's 1350, which is around 10 US dollars. And they are meant to be made for making backgrounds like this one. You can see it's 3D. And he's made this himself, carving it out with a pen knife. The store owner has taken it to another level and created these avatar rocks. So now that I've got one of this, I think I'm going to try to get two more and add them to the tank that's next to my bed. And I think this will give it some height, so hope it looks good. Alright guys, so I'm back home and you can see that I've got my three avatar foam, foam rocks. And so this is what they look like, the string is here. And this is what it looks like in the package. And I got my filter as well, but I couldn't find the plants that I wanted, so I'll have to either wait for those or not get them at all, because since I have these, I can attach some moss to them and hopefully just add them into the tank. Now the filter is running and the avatar foam rocks are in the tank with some anchor moss or Taiwan moss on them. and. They are looking very nice. Hopefully the plants in here do well. This to me is as simple and nice looking as a tank can possibly get.